They're offering tobacco and sharing stories of the late Murray Sinclair at this sacred fire in Winnipeg. Stories of his humor, wisdom, and legacy. I feel sad that he's passed, but um, he left the roadmap for us with those uh, 94 calls to actions. And those calls to actions are for everybody. For residential school survivor Vivian Ketchum, Sinclair carried her through the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. She says hearing his closing speech as chair of the commission has stayed with her all these years. It was so emotional. It was just electric. It was magic. It was, I felt when I heard him, I felt like I was being protected. I was being seen I was, and that I was being heard. Geraldine Grandma Shingus also came to pay her respects. She recalls sharing her experiences of residential school with Sinclair directly during the TRC. And then all I could feel from him during the TRC and even after is that love for, for his family, but also for the people, the community and the nations. And he just wanted to make things right. Retired Corporal Melvin Swan remembers being impressed with Sinclair, who co-commissioned the Aboriginal Justice Inquiry in 1988. Murray Sinclair was uh, on the right side, you know, trying to do what he could for the people, and I, I commend that, and he should be remembered. For Ketchum and Shingoose, they say Sinclair helped expose a dark part of Canada's history and made sure it would never be forgotten. Rosanna Hempel, CBC News, Winnipeg.